the wheel of the weird. Original segment, not ripping off any other segment ever. Um, and you can see here, it's been a little while since I've done the wheel of the weird, and I have a number of strange selections. This is basically me watching old media. Like, stuff under a half hour. Just whatever bizarre stuff is sent my way that seems like it might be good. Um, for the record, a lot of this stuff is gonna get claimed. Last time, I showed something called, like, Night something, and it had, a, like, a guy suffocating in a sock in the wall, and he basically, uh, died. No, he, uh, Nightmare it was called, and it got claimed, it got mega claimed. So, uh, this segment is probably gonna get claimed, but I do have some interesting selections on the wheel, so why don't we take a look and see what we have, shall we? So today on the wheel, we have Kurt, the beatboxing drug-free snake. We have Finnish Lord of the Rings. T-Bone's World of Clowning. How to Talk Minnesotan. TikTok, Let's Talk. Blossom the Clown, Fun Stuff. Nanny Lynn, Cookie Crunchers. Yo-Yo Man. Synth Axe Demo. The Many Acting Gigs of Charles Martinet. Price Master. Dorby's Making Decisions, and Nanny Lynn, Bob the Blob. Now, I've not seen any of these, and uh, we will watch precisely three. However, I'll give you an example. Something shorter is something Jeff found that I thought Haley was interesting. Haley Herman's big premiere party live from Hollywood is sponsored by Britannia Sportswear. Man, we are live from Hollywood Boulevard in what used to be the parking lot of a Holiday Inn. But what now, in fact, at least tonight anyway, is a Pee Wee Herman Look at these carnival. 80s. I'm Mark Goodman, and tonight we're here at a celebration God, for the curly hair mullet, Pee Wee's big adventure. jacket, this pink is shirt. This is crack! The movie, Miss e. G. Daily. Tommy Pickles, chat. Pretty beautiful, huh? Yeah! <laughs> Well, how was it working with me in the film? Was it pretty fun? Uh, oh, Pee-wee, you're the, you're the love of my life. <laughs> I know you are, but what am I? <laughs> you're the first celebrity to arrive, the celebrity of honor tonight. Oh, well, we yeah. Know, we Wasn't that early start, fake huh? Pee-wee in Pee-wee's Big Adventure That's at the good, end of the movie? First come, first serve, so you get good seats tonight. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, Dave, baby! Hey. How you doing? Oh my god. Look at all the people here tonight! <laughs> David Lee Roth is at a Pee Wee event. This is crack! Congratulations. Thanks a lot. Is that a rental or do you own that baby? I gotta have it back by six, P. <laughs> Boy, thanks a lot for <laughs> Fat boys, oh my god! Huh? Huh? How's it going? Beauti beautiful jacket. Who shot the Quiet, couch? right? Oh, man, the hair metal. The hair. But I'm glad to be here. Me Mr. T! Thanks a lot. I hope you like your scene yeah. in the movie. Oh, you got me in there? I got you in the movie. All right, good. Wait, I'm he's not in the movie. Here. Thanks for inviting me. Thank you. Eddie Murphy! Biggest star in the world, pretty much, at the time was Eddie Murphy. Thanks a million for coming. Thanks for having me. I'm Look at the outfit. Cool, yeah. Okay, thanks. Be sure to sit next to Mr. T, okay? In your opinion, who is weirder, you or Pee Wee? I gotta say, Pee Wee is, Pee -wee is right mic there. Up, he's, Alice. he's a frightening kind of guy, you know? He like, <laughs> he's like the next, if they were gonna do The Exorcist again, I think that they would have to use Pee Wee as the next Reagan. <laughs> Not Ronald Reagan, the other Reagan. Yeah. You know? Oh, that's, so, that's good. That's wonderful. Yeah, it's only a couple minutes. There is a lot more footage of this, by the way. I, I'm not gonna show the whole thing, but I just thought this would be fun to give you an example of the type of stuff I like seeing. Just random, chaotic insanity um, and 80s. And uh, you know what? I know Pee Wee was a thing before the movie, but the movie really shot him into the stratosphere. Not literally, but um, you know, the movie was a huge fucking deal for Pee Wee. So I'm surprised that he got all these like massive celebrities of, of the day to come to the movie premiere. I didn't realize that uh, I didn't realize that he had that much popularity even before the film. And however much crack was there, but I guess MTV just, you know, they were they that's the real thing. MTV was like, hey, Eddie Murphy, do you want to come to this event? He's like, OK. Good enough.
All right, shall we spin? Let us spin the wheel. Totally original segment, everybody. And... Kurt hits the beatboxing drug-free snake. Oh, hang on a second. Uh, yeah. The screen's a little screwed up, but you can see it. It's off-center. I'll fix that later, chat. Don't worry, I'll fix it later. But there he is. That's the first uh, thing I added to the wheel. All right. I guess we'll find out what this is. I want to learn to be drug-free from a sock puppet. All right, here we go. Totally worth it, too, mind you. <laughs> now, is this uh, the fabled trouser snake? Uh, welcome to my video, everyone. The famous trouser snake. No, I love this guy. This is this is great. Trust me. Just trust me. I'm gonna tell you not to do drugs. I'm gonna beatbox. That's gonna be great. Oh, this music. It feels like the music is starting and never really gets into it. I feel like the music started over like three times. God, we were edged so hard with that music. Okay, I'm pretty sure that puppet is on crack. something that isn't for kids. Now, where did I put that bottle? <laughs> oh, yeah. How, is it, how, are we, how are the puppets going to hold the bottle? Is it they're just going to be in their mouths? Oh, no, there's another hand. There's an appendage. Okay. You can tell it's, like, alcohol because of the good. X's. One sip, and you get the Grim Reaper? That was not a very Grim Reaper-esque voice, either. I won't have to share this. Oh, he's got a spliff! Oh, he's fucked. Chad, he is gone. Oh, I thought he was zooted. He's just beatboxing. When I'm tired or just bored and don't feel like I should, I'll tell you a little secret. Something makes me feel good. First, get my liquor bottle and I sip it real slow. Next, roll some marijuana for an easy little blow. Chat, this is... <laughs> Pop some pills, smoke some reef, chase it with a cozy drink. Now the world doesn't seem as important as you think. Boom. 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 This is Boom. insane. I, I want to do drugs now. Thank you, Sock Puppet. You made it sound so cool. Nothing at all is so important anymore. 
Imagine getting to this point in your life where you're hired to play a beatboxing anti-drug sock you puppet. You think you feel good now, don't you? If you think at all anymore, sleep, Kurt. Tomorrow you will wake up. Your head will pound, and your stomach will turn on you. Decent but paper mache skeleton. And drink some more. Pop some pills. You'll use drugs just to get through the day. And then, Kurt Hiss, you will belong to me. <laughs> Believable. Believable. Oh, he's just zonked on a swing. Let him let him stay zonked. This was 100% someone's community service, you think so? But it they also knew how to beatbox? To get drugs. Anything I wanted. At school, the playgrounds, anything I wanted. Nobody does much about it. All it takes is a little money. Wait, I could probably beatbox. Hang on a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. I sneak it from mom's purse or take a camera or radio from friends and sell it. Of course, I don't yeah. have too many friends anymore. But who cares? I quit the, school. Probably the who drugs. Who needs it? Yeah, I have to cut some of my own reef sometimes and sell it. I've never heard cut some it's of my own easy reef. If you know how. And I know how. Then again, I'm not a drug using sock I'm puppet. Cool. You know? Real cool. I'm not as cool as the puppet. I, I gotta be honest. But hang on. Hey everybody, it's me, sock puppet. Krusty sock man, that's not a scruppet. What's the matter, Floaty? The sock down? is hard. Uh, it's nothing. I've been better. Sure. I know. Here. Take a hit of this. And watch your troubles just melt away. <laughs> and just a little crusty. I can let you in on a bag real right. cheap. I'm good at it, you see? This is the best stuff in town. Yeah, okay, I'll buy some. Good, good. This is better than the stuff my little brother sells. I got him started in the business, you know. He does okay, but oh my God, what a he doesn't piece of sell shit. the quality stuff. And he isn't as careful as I am. With his clientele, I mean. Though I love his shirt. He's got like a cool crossbones uh, shirt. But I'm not his keeper, you know. Here you go. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> it's oddly sexual. <laughs> oh. 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 I, I feel kind of funny. Oh. Oh, yeah. Chewy? <laughs> oh, no. Cause my buddy here is down and don't feel like he should. We share a little secret, something makes us feel good. This is killer marijuana and I sure am getting high. I'll send some booze and pills for a real killer buy. <laughs> Guy's a real sucker. I can take him for a ride. Come on here, little buddy. Let's get something warm inside. This guy's just giving free product out. <laughs> Either he's stupid or I'm stupid because he's figured out how to get his clientele hooked. Trust, trust, trust. <laughs> trust you. Your little brother did. He's been arrested. You oh. didn't take any better care of him than you do of yourself. I'll be taking him by the hand soon, Mr. Hiss. He can't handle jail. Will that teach you a lesson? <laughs> I think not. <laughs> the day will come that I put my hand on your shoulder. <laughs> Chat, there's still like another Kurt. 12 minutes of this somehow. Kurt. Kurt. Kurt, it's little brother. Kurt. They're just reiterating the same they shit at this point. To an undercover officer and they, they took him to jail. Oh, Kurt. Oh, Kurt. Kurt, he's... Oh, VHS damage. Oh, how did he ever get mixed up in that sort of thing? Gee, I wonder. Kurt. 
Kurt. Why don't you take a look at your son? Kurt? Oh, Kurt! Oh, 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 oh. oh man. What? What was all that about? Your brother's dead. The Grim Reaper got him. Soon, Kurt. Soon. Huh? What? <laughs> Someone in chat said that they had to make something like this in school. Like an anti-drug PSA kind of thing. Hey! Yeah, you! Can you spare a few dollars? Hey, a couple of lousy bucks, okay? This doesn't Come look on. ten years later. Oh, yeah? Well, well you're lousy, too. Same to you. Same shirt for ten years. You. Oh, you know what? That's good. Yeah. stinking bucks, okay? Do you know who I am? I'm Kurt Hiss. And this is my alley, you creeps. Who's this gormless Keep puppet? Money. I don't need it. I'm cool. Oh, yeah, yeah you're cool, okay. Real cool. Alright, why don't you, young fella? If you don't <laughs> to stop annoying the pedestrians, I have to run you in. It'd probably be a better existence than what he's doing now. Look well. Do you have a home? A real home? This is just a dirty old alley. Uh, you can't hide from me. Was he hiding in a trash can? Oscar well, the Grouch has competition. I imagine you'll be finding that out if you don't start taking better care of yourself. Did Oscar the Grouch also get mixed up in drugs back in Sesame Street? Is that how that started? Young fella, I'm going to be keeping my eye on you, my boy. But I'm thinking the next time we meet, I'll be carrying you out of this place. It's like every time he's in that trash can, he's lucky he doesn't, like, mm. rise back up with, a, like, a comical amount of syringes stuck inside of him. Hey, you got me hooked on drugs real good. I... I need a fix real bad. Kurt, don't you recognize me? Jeez, you look terrible. Looks like a blue I sock saw puppet. What's it to ya? A little crusty, but, you know, Say, none worse uh, for the wear. You, uh, yeah, I'm floaty. You should know me. You got me hooked on drugs ten years ago. It almost did me in, but I caught on. I was able to walk away from it. Then why are you wearing a jail outfit? My gone, my family, my self-respect. I'm clean now. It wasn't easy, but I did it. Kurt, you can do it too. You can walk away. But it's got to be your choice. But Floaty, I need a fix. A drink or something. If I don't get it soon, I'll die. If you do get it, you're sure to die. If not now, then soon. Good grief, you're the Grim Reaper's best friend. Don't you know that? You've given him your brother. Your mother's dying too. Broken heart, I guess. Someone what? wrote that into a Mom? script. Kurt, Good grief, you you're the Grim Reaper's friend. Don't you know that? Is this what you want? Well, go ahead. But listen, you won't be remembered. You won't even be thought of. You won't be cool, Kurt. You'll just be dead. It's not cool. You don't not understand. Face. It's cringe. I need it. it. It makes me feel like I'm somebody. Cut it out, Kurt. Wake up. Look, I used this stuff for a while, remember? It just makes you numb. For a little while, and then sick. Get off the junk and find yourself. You might already be somebody. Forever. I mean, he lived ten years like this. That's pretty impressive. What is he doing? Oh. Is he puking? Life is hard, you know. Tweaking? It's a gamble at best. I stacked the odds against myself and lost big time. It was my own fault, and I didn't even see it. And I blame society. I lost my brother, my mom. <laughs> oh, mom, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I broke your heart in two. <laughs> 
Well, <laughs> my act is cleaned up now. And you're acting I'm too. I'm straight. And the Grim Reaper will have to look somewhere else for his next slave. I mean, you're going to be okay with the withdrawals and stuff? No! Well, I'll see you in about 50 years then. Kiss. But just remember, I may lose you, but someone will take your place. I can easily find someone else to do my work. <laughs> is, is he just using like a, a wire hanger? What a garbage fucking scythe that is. My little brother used to play like that. So happy. But that was a long time ago. Real weird. Hi, Kirk. Are you doing all right? <laughs> sure. Everything's okay now, sis. In oh, that fact, was his sister. Things couldn't be better. I'm clean. <laughs> <laughs> You're clean. Oh yeah. man. Listen. Oh god, I forgot about the beatboxing. I am I'm clean and I'm off the junk. And you'll never see me acting like a no good punk. Both my eyes are clear and my veins are clean and everything about my past is just a big bad dream. Yeah, except your dead brother that you uh, no, it's fine. Oh, really, 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 yeah, I'm really, really happy that I finally come home where the people here that love me where I'll never feel alone. Come on, Kurt. Let's get a soda. Sis, you don't know how good that sounds. Wow, and that was it. Life is just perfect again. There's no hard work. And now it's just clown music. Together they went to live in the clown motel in Nevada, and they had a good life. <laughs> Wait a minute, what's this? <laughs> it's like a, 20 seconds of clown music. Uh, yeah, you look like the kind of kid to me that likes to have a good time, you know what I mean? Hey, hey, you want me to show you how to have a really good time? Come on, come on. A couple of these babies, you'll be on top of the world. Don't listen to him, please. Hey, get your own He's playground. not your friend. Hey, hey, get your own playground. I know what you are. You're evil. <laughs> you only want to deal death and destruction. Destruction? I'm stop you before any more kids get hurt. Run. Run away from them and everybody else like him. Hey, hey wait. Now I'll deal with you. Just you just cost me a sale, asshole. Hey, you, I'd like a word with you. Uh-oh. Uh, stop, you! Uh, he's, he's a slippery one, but uh, we'll catch him <laughs> sooner or later. And if we don't, the Grim Reaper will. Play the clown music again. Uh, uh, da, 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 da. Boy, uh, thank you. Say, uh, don't I know you? Yes, I do. I'm uh, from that alley in the city. Yeah, that was at a time when things were pretty rough, but but I'm pleased to say I'm straightened out now. Well, Could have made that rhyme. You sure made a liar out of me. Uh, congratulations. Say, you know what? Since you've been through it all before, uh, you uh, could be a great crusader against drugs and uh, booze. Can't you come back to my place? Me? Just for a little while. Yes? Yes, I'll show you. Crusader? Yes. I have an outfit yes. back at my house. I can see it now. America's friend. The pusher's enemy. <laughs> wow. We're really proud of you, Kurt. Here's a special Crusader sweater just for you. I sure would be proud if you'd, I was like, if you'd let me join your crusade and help you. Listen, sure, floaty. that white circle in the middle at the, and the red fabric, I don't know, something to... Mm.
Oh, and suddenly I now he's giving a speech in front of America. It was important that you heard about my life. It it wasn't a pretty story as you saw, but I hope you remember it. Drugs and alcohol might seem cool, but they can only bring you down. If anyone ever says trust me to you, hey, can you stop singing? Drugs, I'm trying to deliver a speech. Run away from it. Please, don't drink and don't do drugs. I challenge each of you to get involved. Tell your friends too. Help Floaty and me defeat the drug problem before it defeats America. Neil Breen is a sack puppet. Because he's going to talk about hey, how the corporations hey, and banks is hey, bad and hey, stuff hey, now. Hey, hey, what do you say? But when you're tired or just bored and don't feel like you should, I'll tell you a little secret something makes you feel good. Eat all the right foods and get a good night's sleep and don't ever buy drugs from some low life creep. But if they're not a low life, you can buy the drugs. Keep your family and your friends and your life can be great. Just take a tip from Kurt Hitz. Don't do drugs and stay straight. Wasn't even anywhere near on rhythm. Flow was terrible. Drugs can kill you, kids. Just don't do drugs. Very nice music. <laughs> Th this could be new stream music. So, yeah, I mean, there was a lot of uh, interesting things in there. Uh, I, I especially liked the fact that there did not need to be any beatboxing at all. Juke slow come, shoot real slow. 1987. Yeah, that's kind of where I pictured it as well. Uh, it was pretty rough. Those pu puppets were crusty, and I don't just mean that someone jizzed in them. I mean, they were just crusty puppets. It, you know... If you're watching that as a kid, I don't remember a lot of the stuff that they showed back in school. The dare stuff. But it didn't really stop me. Not that I ended up becoming like a crackhead, but I, I smoked a little bit of that weed back, you know, back in the day. As soon as it was available to me and I was a little bit old enough, like, you know, I was rebellious. I wouldn't recommend it to anyone. But I'm not going to, like, put on a puppet show and say, um, Hey, you shouldn't do any weed! You'll die! You know, but I mean, it can make you not do your homework good. But I did do all the D.A.R.E. programs. I remember seeing like videotapes somewhat similar to this. I just don't know if this shit works, does it? Like, did anyone like stop the feed if by watching this? Did it like, you know what I mean? Like, did, are people, <laughs> what I'm wondering is this. Is there anyone who was offered a weed and then they remembered Kurt Hiss and they were like, that was my pal. I wouldn't, I wouldn't betray my pal Kurt Hiss. Cause that's like 10 years later at that point. Ish. Well, anyway, I enjoyed the production. That was good. That was a fun video. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I did. Which brings us back to the wheel. What will the wheel bring us now, I wonder? There's a lot of clown materials on here. Dorby's making decisions. Oh boy. Oh, that looks awful. All right. Yeah, okay. Well. Here we go, I guess. Dorby's making decisions. Once again, I know nothing about what we're about to watch. 
So here we go. Clown content waiting room, says a chat member. Sorry, no clown content for you now. I mean, you're watching clown content, whether or not there will be actual clowns on the stream. Live bait production? Is this just like a Twitch chat? Okay, so, um, Zara Zarathustra is playing, so... It's a 2001 reference. What font is this? I don't know, it's probably online somewhere. Unless they made it themselves. Have you seen Ga Gaither's Pond? I haven't. created the heavens and the earth. All that is seen and unseen. And in the panorama that is the unseen, beyond the secret world of the insect, beyond the atoms that form the grass they hide behind, in the infinitesimal pantheon that to be Wow. Stanley Tubrick would be so proud of this. So ugly. What year was this? Is this like 91? 92? 93? This is 1998? What? I, okay, I'm trying to, in my brain, figure out what this is supposed to be. I don't know if it's educational, I don't know if it's entertainment, I don't know if it's, like, someone's fetish, but I hate it already. And it looks like garbage. How y'all doing? Now, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Old Delta Dorby, and most people around here call me Delta. But you can call me... Delta. Okay. Yeah. I've been living here in Dorby Town for now going on 72 years, and I guess I've been playing this guitar for about 63 of those years. Hey, <laughs> hey, man, come over here. You never guess what I found the other day. When Look I was at this gormless a fuck. A pile of unwanted, untainted, fresh from the Bella Naval Lint. You know what? I just love corn fritters. Don't you? There's just something about corn fritters, man. It just makes you feel full. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, you probably don't want to talk about corn fritters or nothing like that. Hey, anyway, check this out. Listen to this. Oh, no, hey, man, chat. This think, is... Man, this thing's almost brand new. I saw them down there at the general store for 59 cents. But luckily, I got this free. I got this free, man. You know what? I love to join your band. Can I join your band? <laughs> you know what? Ch chat. I don't want to join your band. Anyway. I'll tell you what, though, man. If you want to hang out with somebody, you want to jam with somebody, just get weird, you know? Hey, brothers for life. That's what I said. What is this brothers child, Boomhauer? Hey, over here in, the, in, your, in your storm, your sewer gutter, okay? You, you need me, just give me a holler. <laughs> Jeff says, I think they have the same disease as Crazy Frog. <laughs> that was Fleck. Now, he's always around here someplace, and he is crazy. Yeah. yeah, you can tell by yeah, the face. We've seen them come and go. Uh, now, times have changed a lot here in Dorby Town, but I'll tell you what it seems. You know, life in general always come back to making decisions. And not just uh, okay, educational? Decisions, mind you, the right decision. Yeah, the one morality. The good Lord wants you to make. Oh, the good now, Lord! Is, take my little ball friend, Jack. And Mary Jane Darby. Now see, Jack, <laughs> that boy is a character. Yes, sir, he's at school, but see, he really don't want to be that, no. And I have a feeling <sighs> that he's going to try. Beta and Veggie I mean Tales? Try to persuade Mary Jane to get out of there with him. You know, 
That old school reminds me of a little music place that used to be right there on that spot. Now, it was a few days ago, uh, 1952 days. <laughs> me and uh, like nothing is happening. <sighs> that, that's how I feel. I feel exactly like that right now. As you can see, the isolation of the parallelogram is concurrent to the vertical side of the polygon. Now, what is exciting about <laughs> this is that they both are related side according to MacGyver's theorem of gumstick tubing. <laughs> Better facial animations than Starfield. Easy joke, low hanging fruit, is like that degrees. apple. <laughs> <laughs> Realistic ambience. I'm busting out. Follow my lead if you want to get out of here. <laughs> Excuse me, Mr. Waddlesworth, but I, I'm not feeling too good. Uh, I think I think those Jello pops at lunch were bad. Can I go to the nurse, please? Uh, yeah. Me I, I think Mr. this was made concurrently with South Park, so South Park didn't even happen okay, yet. Children, but hurry back because we're gonna start chapter 13, and you know what that means? Dissecting congruent triangles. <laughs> Or maybe it, like, yeah, just about the same time. But uh, this is this is really annoying. Derby, Jack Derby, follow me. Code red. Code Where's the talking red. piece of shit? Oh, that's all of them. Complete lockdown in T minus three minutes. It's a golden eye alarm noise. Klaxon. It's called a Klaxon. Uh. And, and this is the same year GoldenEye came out. Oh wait, no, this is a year after. Uh. It's the Mission Impossible uh, rhythm. According to IMDb, one of the voice actors in this went on to do voices in Crisis Core. I, I don't even want to know which one. So that way all of them could have been in Crisis Core. But really, a lot of nothing happens. Like, there, it, it, it's the illusion of, like, excitement, but then just a lot of nothing in between. Okay, we got a Mission Impossible and an Indiana Jones parody all in one. Chat, this is what we like to call in comedy a hat on a hat. Yeah, we, we comedians. <laughs> It looks like Baldi's basic school. Yo, oh man, he became a suck ball. He, he's just like a, a fleshlight now, ball now. I hate to see them skip school. Yep, that always leads to trouble. Mm -hmm. And speaking of trouble, this is a young Dolby right here about to find some. Now, his name is Otto, and he just came Otto. in from across the big pond. Not being from around. Chad saying he looks like Jarma and his name is Otto. Clothes. Now, every blues man knows when you need duds, you go down to Diggs. But not being a man of the blues, I don't know if Diggs is going to be the right choice for Otto. You know, I remember we had a drummer, his name was Sticks Catfish Willie. Now, Sticks could play that show, he could play the skins, you know what I'm saying? The only problem <laughs> was he only had one drumstick. And he had a bad left arm, it wasn't nothing but a nub. But let me tell you, he could work that high half of that drum. <laughs> it's like, can we do another take? No, just leave it. Chad, that doesn't look like Jerma. I swear to God, and, and more people are posting, like, images of generic, like, dudes with beards, and they're like, that's you, Vinny. I'm like... I must find a closet here to find some regular American clothes. 
so that I might fit in better with the Garmin folk. Oh my god, it's an Arnold parody. Oh my god. Why? They're so fast! The cars are so fast! You know, the pump is like the cum. These are some of the ugliest 3D models I've ever seen, chat. Is the implication that he was going to get hit by a car? Oh, that was un that was not even anything. I thought they were setting up. There was Chekhov's gun, but they didn't actually pay it off at all. It's like, oh, the cars are real fast. Wait, oh no, porn music? Oh, yeah. oh my god, what is this now? Um. Yeah. They're doing a shaft parody. Oh, yeah. Is this what he does Search every day at work? The big boy. I didn't hear that. I don't know what he said, Chad. I have to rewind that, but I'm not going to. Big boy. Brother Love, or welcome to Dig's Duds. Hit me with some skin. I am Dig Esquire, and this is right out of the sister, 70s. The soft spoken Norm. You darn good. Tell me, what can I put a hip brother as yourself in today? Thank <laughs> you. I am Otto. I am looking for some clothes that will make me more discreet. And then I can fit in better with the common folk. But we're looking more. You came to the right store. Shoot all the cat shop here, don't you know that? Oh, you're darn tootin'. You know, Otto, everybody knows that it's clothes that make the man. So let me break it down to you like this. Oh my god. You wanna look so groovy, like an actor in a movie. But you're needin' some clean threads to finally turn some heads. Well, boy, you're lookin' kinda square. Tell me, what's up with your hair? Let me hip you to the game. But you gotta remember my name. Chat, are we never go doing Wheel of the Weird again? Did you say Shamon? Come on. You know I'm gonna have your style, baby. Go to D. It's weird because I see the South Park parallels. There are several. In this funky velvet shirt. Boy, you know it's gonna work. And some platforms for your feet. And this hat, it looks so sweet. Like my good friend Huggy Bear. You won't go anywhere. What are we learning? Without your digs. To close are good. You go to digs. Shamotin. Shamotin. Yeah. You go to digs. <laughs> go to dicks. Your Sporting goods. Full of choices, baby. You go to digs. He's, he's just confused. He's just a lump of. He's like a, a, a benign tumor you know with legs and arms. Please get those disgusting feet away. Okay. But, uh, was there anything there at all? Whoa! Look at that, Mary Jane. It's old man Redder's house. Oh my god, dude! You know how Billy Jenkins Dorby, he said that he went there like two years ago and, and he said that he went in there to get his ball, but uh, come to find out he, he really didn't go in there and then his mom made him eat soap because he, he wasn't telling the truth, but he said he went in there and saw like monsters and rabbits, but he really didn't like go in there and, and y y you remember that? Uh. I never heard that story. No, yeah, it was in all the newspapers. Anyway, we could go in there for sure this time and find out some stuff. Mary Jane, there comes a time in a Dorby's life when he has to pick himself up by the bootstrap. When a Dorby has to grow up and take what's his. A time to be a man. You gotta, you gotta beat the man to be a man. You gotta climb to the summit to even see the top. You gotta want it. You gotta call for the ball even when the guard doesn't want to feed you the rock. You How'd you do that? Uh, I don't know. So let's go. Are we men or are we mice? We are. Oh, okay, let's go. But wait, Jack, that place really looks scary, and 
Well, my mama says that it could be dangerous and we might get hurt. And the Bible says that we should honor our mom and dad. <laughs> yeah, I know, Mary Jane, but it's not going to matter because everybody's going to be so jazzed about what we found in there that nobody's going to remember that we disobeyed our parents. Come on, Mary Jane. I mean, live a little. <laughs> the Bible. That's a, that's a hell of a thing to, to drop in the middle of this. Castlevania 64. Seems like a good place to start. No Dorby's ever been this far. What we need is a running start to show that we're not it, You know what? There is a Donkey Kong Country TV show quality to this. Obviously, it's way worse. I ain't a kid no more. That voice is awful. Word. Tell him what you heard. You know it's gonna be a better day. Yeah, yeah. All around the world. All around the world, Tripped gotta spread the word. Tell them what you heard. You heard. No, it's gonna be something like that. Remember, yes, ma'am, and thank you, please, and curtsy on your way out. What I need is a little freedom <laughs> to see what life's about. I want to be grown up. Yeah, you got it. No curlers, no hair. I, to be fair, 1998, I believe, Be Here Now came out. Well, oh, God, what was that? Chat, listen to All Around the World by Oasis. It's the same fucking thing. We're just balls who want to be grown up. I, I know some balls that want to be blown up. <laughs> That's like ACDC. That's what they talk about. We're just balls and we want to be blown up. Oh, this is a... 100%. This is 100% an Oasis parody. Someone said this is going on five minutes too long. The original All Around the World song is way too long. Yeah, my man. Now we're getting somewhere. Let's check this out. Why is the sign, wait, reversed on the inside and you can't read? <laughs> Why? <laughs> oh, this is so bad. <laughs> Batman, construction worker, Matrix. Oh wait, that was a Matrix. Oh no, I don't want to hear it again. Dorby German Access Television presents Mr. Poe und Yogel. Oh my god. Strongest Dorby in the world who's loved by everybody. Yeah, it's me, Hans and Franz. Hello. It's Mr. Poe und Yogel. Who makes his living fighting crime and caring. Nice T pose. Wait, we're fucking. It was a T pose. Chat, there was a T pose. He is very, 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 very nice. It's Mr. Pa! What's your one? Last time we saw our crime-destroying duo in the clutches of their evil nemesis, Dr. Derry. I'm a move. 
Now Dr. Darius captured Mr. Poe's trusty assistant, Yogel. Oh man, chat, I don't normally say the machine. word. Can Mr. Poe reach Yogel and save our trusty friend? Where is your Mr. Poe now, Yogel? Where don't is your say Mr. it, Poe but now? it's a little cringe. Mm -hmm. oh, I'm sorry, chat. Dr. Darius, you'll be sorry when Mr. Poe gets here. He is a crime fighter, you know. Oh, he will never find you this time. You see, my pasture is secured by electrical fencing and reinforced by ill-tempered chickens. Oh, Mr. Poe! Mr. Poe! I don't use that word lightly because people overuse it, but when I feel a physical reaction to something I'm watching, like a physical embarrassment, to me, that's when it's time to use that word. I have found you. Dr. Derry, what have you done? Rats, how did you get through my electrical fencing? Wire cutters, Derry. And my chickens? They just needed to be loved. Oh, well, I can understand that. I guess a hug is nice. It's somewhat refreshing. Well, well Mr. Poe, you are late as usual. And as you can see, your friend has already been placed on my EMAC diabolical algorithmic integral polar seismic particle assimilating discombobulating antipotipicating dorby undulating lewinskinating self extracting self adjusting self cleaning rubberizing elongating short grip stretch machine 2000 with dualismic unregistered shareware version 2.0 beta. Uh, okay, I, I enjoyed some of that. That was the best bit of this bit. <laughs> I am okay, then it was ruined. <laughs> it was ruined right after that. Hang in there, Yogel. Put yourself in a happy place. Gray skies are going to clear up. Put on one happy face. Hang in there, Yogel. I'll Still be laughing. Right Chad, I wonder why this didn't take off. This could have been picked up. This could have been the pilot to a really cool show. Someone said, because there is a god. I like how Dorby's proves the existence of god. It's too short. Keep singing. Tomorrow, tomorrow. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> oh, no. No, not quite long enough. Oh, well, if at first you don't succeed. <laughs> what, 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 what? Why do I laugh? Why, why do I always do this? I cannot remember. It. Oh, yoga. Yoga. No, 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 no. No, no, can't touch this. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, no. No, no, can't touch this. Hammer time. Nah. Oh, my God, MC Hammer. One minute. Sing, Yogel. Sing like the wind. Rocky Mountain High, Colorado. Was that a John Denver joke? I mean, all of this is going on way too long anyway. Push for world peace. Push to end world hunger. Push here to free poor Yogol from the dreaded apparatus. the trolley problem. I don't know, man. I, I, I would save Yogo. Oh, thank you, Mr. Paul. I was starting to feel quite lightheaded. <laughs> no, Yogo's cool. He's nice and not annoying. Okay, enough of that. Come, Yogo. Let us seize the opportunity and flee. He looks like, he really does, from, from above especially, he looks like a hairy, like, testicle, Yogo. Foiled again. A depressed testicle. A depressed testicle. Not so fast you had to get past me. I see you have escaped the... Well, well, the machine, you know. What? 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 I didn't name it. Mr. Paul, what can we do? We are finished. Don't worry, Yogel. There is always one thing that can stop a cow cold in his tracks. No! Not the... <laughs> oh. 
the beautiful light. Quick, Yogle! I can't hold it forever! Tip him! Oh my god. Alright, that's an alright gag. I, I, God. I don't want to even give it up for there being any humor in this, and but so, I have to. Once again, good it's an okay gag. Day conquers night. Shit delivery. All of it's shit delivery, but I, I mean, I would know. Safer place. Tune in next time when we hear Derry say, Oh, I hate to be tipped. All right, chat, only another hour of this. I'm kidding, it's less. No, it's almost done, it's almost done. Why? Just why? Why, why more of these loathsome creatures? No! Hey, you know what? That All face. I need is a pair of overalls and I'm set. You know, I don't even need no shoes. I can just have some overalls and I'll be fine. You know, they got overalls down there at General Store. You want to go down there, they got them for 59 cents. But I got Shut these for free. Up. You know what I was doing? You know where I found these for free? You, do, you don't want to know. Yeah, well, I, mean, I understand that. That's okay. I don't want to get your way or nothing. But y'all need me. I'll be over there in the polyester shirt rack, okay? <laughs> That is a face. That is a I face. I somewhat like a goat on milking day. I don't know, Mr. Norm, do you like these outfits on me? You darn tootin'. Brother, you look fine. I must thank you for your help, <laughs> Mr. Dick. Your honesty has overcome me. I was told in Sweden that the big city people would try to take advantage of my Sweden? small down ways. That's but a Swedish accent? That's Arnold, that's Austrian. Special trust. And I must say I count you as my friend. Oh, I saw the beginning of this before. I know where this is going. Now, what do I pay? Little testicular torsion. What's what's happening? You know, I do stand and make quite a few greenbacks off my Icelandic brother. But I'm not sure I can actually say he looks good in those threads. Of course, with all the money, I could go down to Tito's pawn shop and get my 8-track back. Ah, uh, I guess every Dorby's got to make the right choice sometime. Out of my man. I can't lie to you. Now, mind you, my store is the bomb. <laughs> there ain't nowhere in town that can slide with my inventory. But I think a special brother like yourself needs to go next door. See, I think they got exactly what you're looking for. Chat, this this thing is making me itchy. Like just oh, watching this, I've been be like doctor. double as you itchy. Me so much. Darn, tootin'. The bulging Swedish man made me itchy, chat. God, I should go to that puppet who was selling the, the weed and the alcohol. Would have helped with the segment. <laughs> Metal Gear Shafted? Which game in the series is that? It's almost over, chat. We're we're almost there. They're just turning themselves into suck balls <laughs> once again. Hey, you, you see anything over there? Their no, shoes were left behind, but now they have shoes. Mm, no. Jimmy Hoffa joke. Hey.
haven't seen a Jimmy Hoffa joke in a very long time and would never have expected it from this. Oh, they're really lingering on that. Hey, hey, son, you got any nanners? Oh, Come on, baby, cl close that door then. God. Get my eat on. Hey! No! Hey! Oh, 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 Bungie the frog yeah, levels of annoying. Let's just wait a sec while all that funny stuff gets ready. I can't. I, I'm stuck. Oh man, Mary Jane, what, what are we gonna do? Well, I gotta go get help. No, no, whatever you do, don't do that. People will know we did school. Would you rather me go get help or stay down in that hole for 15 years? Jack? I'm thinking. Well, I'm gonna go get help. Oh, no, okay. wait, 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 Mary, listen, listen, okay. Hey, okay, okay, go get help, but listen, don't make a big scene. Keep it quiet. Today, two young students were caught trespassing in an old abandoned house. We here at Channel 2.3 feel their hurt, feel their pain, and feel their need. Okay. Feel their longing to be free. But they did skip school and disobey their parents. So I can't help but feel... A classic, a classic, but a good, a good trick. Good joke. ...peanut butter and nanner sandwich, playing astral ball. This is Treat Dorby for Channel 2.3 Live Action News. Back to you, Walter. Two children. Two cute little balls. Meaning well. A rock star Don't say cute little balls. Don't say that. I think not. This is Walter Concrete Dorby. Concrete. Good day and good night. Okay, oh. fellas, pull him up. Man, why is dad gonna be mad? Are you okay, son? We were worried sick about you. I'm sorry, dad. I guess I really made a bad decision today. Son, there's gonna be plenty of time for you to grow up. And you know what? What? Tomorrow's a brand new day. It does kind of end like South Park, too, yeah. It, this seems like they were starting a pilot for a show. But there's like two jokes in the whole thing. And the rest is just horrendously ugly and annoying. It's shitty VeggieTales. Well, I've never seen VeggieTales, so I don't even know, but like... Apparently it's proto VeggieTales. A little bit too much music. I mean, it's, you know, not the worst, but. Yeah, I am glad everything worked out for the better for little Jack and Mary Jane. Veggie Tales started in 93. And the last time oh, okay. I heard, Otto was real happy in his new clothes. Bay me up, Scotty. Are these the dudes that made Gaither's Pond? I've never <laughs> seen Gaither's Pond. Oh, I'm sorry, you're making a point. I didn't mean... Hey, y'all, I'm sorry, y'all. Hey, kids, you know what? I'm just gonna go up here and hang in front of you. the left top side of your TV set. You know, if you want me, you just wanna hang out and get weird. That's where I'll be. I'll let you get back to what you're doing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry, I just had to drown out the voice. You crazy, I tell you. <laughs> like I was saying, life is about choices. And a good one. It ain't always easy to make, but if you pray to the good Lord, I mean really pray to the good Lord, he's going to keep you on the straight and narrow. Yep, it's and all gospel show shit. You mm -hmm. way. That's what it ends. The lesson is that a God will save you from the maniacal cow and the haunted house. Oh. Okay. I that was kind of painful, but uh, I hope you got something out of it, chat. What what did we learn? Chat, what did you learn? Balls pain. I loved it. I want to die. Jesus, thank fuck it's over. The wheel sucks. Oh, but does it? Because next, we have one more selection from the wheel. It giveth and it taketh. Maybe we will get the fabled clown content. Hmm.
Hmm. Finally, Price Master, huh? Let me see how long this is. 32 minutes, 23. Okay. All right. We're finally doing Price Master. I've never seen this, and I've been meaning to watch this for a while. So, you know, here we go. Buckle up. I still don't really even know what this is, chat. It's been recommended so many times and I have no idea what it is. So, uh, here's Price Master. Engage Metal Gear Shafted, says chat member. Uh, maybe. Yeah, maybe. Hmm. Let's see how I feel after Price Master. Maybe this will scramble my brain real good. Um, if not, I'll do it during the week. Looks like some kind of garage sale. <laughs> Environments are not passive wrappings, but are rather active processes which are invisible. The ground rules, pervasive structure, and overall patterns of environments elude easy perception. Anti-environments or counter-situations made by artists provide means of direct attention and enable us to see and understand more clearly. Ah, yes. Humor as a system of communications is a probe of our environment of what's really going on affords us a most appealing anti-environmental tool. It does not deal in theory, but in immediate experience is often the best guide in changing perceptions. Ah, yes. Huh? Is this an Eyes Wide Shut videotape? It all ties back to us needing drugs from the sock puppet, I think is what's going on here for today's wheel. I kind of can't tell if that's an animatronic or an actual human. I mean, I think it's a human looking like an animatronic. It's, it's like a person, but they're just being real weird. Wait, so they're just re shopping for... Was that Franklin Delano Roosevelt with a bunch of fucking porn? Frozen meat at a yard sale? It was like not wrapped even. Am I supposed to yeah. feel my brain chemistry being rewritten? Because I am. Old pop watches and old wind up wrist watches, tiny. Oh, yeah, some of my stuff. It's amazing to me how they, like, even forge that stuff. Oh, yeah. Stuff, you yes. know, back when my mind, the old pop hey, watches. We get it all. Right. We got what? some of good rig wrap there. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, like, just the mechanics of it. I, I don't even really understand, like, how a little cold. But what year is it? I don't know what year is this real art piece in 90s 2000s it said 2001 oh i missed that in the beginning this was truly the 2001 odyssey 
wasn't a space odyssey. Is the password? That is the door password. Good morning, sir. What hey, is the password for the house? It's not just for breakfast anymore. I would do a bit like this. <laughs> Am I looking at? This is evoking some kind of emotion. Or some, not even an emotion. I don't think it's an emotion. Maybe it's gas. I'm in a trance. I'm in a fugue state right now. Well, I don't get it. I just don't. I don't understand. I, it's art piece. It's an art piece. Did, did, is it don't react to him. Did, like, is it scripted? I don't. Don't answer these questions, chat. I don't want to know the answer to these questions. I'm just trying to understand what I'm looking at. It's, it's like somewhat funny, but it's mostly creepy. I've been waiting all morning for this. The appearance of the black firebird. <laughs> I wonder if Nathan Fielder has ever seen this. This is a rare sight indeed. The black firebird. It would just be a normal prank video without the music. Yeah, I guess so. even reacted to that one. It was like just voiceover. It's also like, you know, looking at the cars, like that, that fucking midway point between the 90s and the 2000s. 
the the Midwest looking fucking environment, the weird stuff on on the table. Oh, this is Texas. Okay. Must have been cold that day in Texas. They're wearing hoodies. Yeah, that, that's the lowest one, and they, it's still no deal. Chat, I've known about this video for over a year. I've had it on my desktop for over a year. I briefly scrubbed through it, not knowing what to make of it. And always said, one day I'll get to this. And I feel like I've just unleashed a curse upon myself and the entire chat. Like in seven days, we're going to have to sell some of our old junk at a yard sale. Otherwise, we, we get junk. And also, we shit ourselves. Lower the music a little bit? Why do you need that? What do you think this person's neighbors think about this? Oh, they, yeah, he probably killed them a long time ago. She really wants those nunchucks. <laughs> Just wasting people's time. The neighbors are the unwrapped meat in the cooler for sale. Probably. And they have to hear this too, like this music, while they're shopping? Oh. And this was on a VHS. This was- this was sold on a VHS. The music was added in post? Oh. One dollar? What was that? Was that a dollar being sold for more? For four fifty? <laughs> oh, you fuckers! Look through that hustler. Don't worry, FDR's not judging. He he loved that shit. FDR was all about smut. Please be careful. Hi, is it inside or is this all of it? Just 
out here in the yard. Oh, it is? Yeah. Has no one done a Price Master since this? And the lunchbacks migrate north. Huh. Jerma should? I mean, I'd help, but I could be the guy and Jerma could be the, the, the guy. I think what we would do is, though, we'd play the music, the annoying music, like, while people are shopping. Chat, uh, this, the, I don't know, I mean, listen, the wheel has spoken. The wheel has spoken. And we're, we have to, we have to just, do we watch this? How long is it? It's another hour. No, I'm kidding. It's another, it's, we're over halfway through. I don't fucking know how much more of this I can I can tolerate. There's just like nothing else is happening. Is gonna be buying anything from this yard sale, are they? How much do these work? Yes. What do they do? Steel. looking for a whale all he needs is one to be successful yeah if someone drops 20 or fifty thousand dollars or whatever price master can retire to his quarters for a couple hours What a shock. Yeah. $500, I think. I think he just got his decimal too on. <laughs> she accepts. Okay. Will that 
be cash or check? That will be cash. Five hundred dollars cash. No, five dollars cash. This is just fucking shit. <laughs> this is just shit. Pressmaster decided on 500. I don't think he's going to change his mind. What do you guys want to negotiate with him? Five dollars? <laughs> okay, now he's going up in price. I think he's getting annoyed. God. Oh my god. I kind of now just want to see if anyone gets a deal at all. So essentially no one is buying anything is what I'm learning from this. Chat, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Inflation symbolism? It, it's interesting you say that when it says enema box on the screen. Uh, what's an enema box, chat? Five hundred thousand dollars. Oh. See, I like when he says something different. It's it's better that way. Yep. Is the music getting angrier? It sounds like the music is getting more angry. Oh, he, she's mocking him. Yeah, this this is this is something else. Um, yeah, brain chemistry is being rewritten slowly. Uh, we, the good news is, chat. There's not much more of it left. That's yeah. That's a oh, real person. Real? Is he real? That yeah, guy? Yeah, he's real. He's real. He's the price master. Do you think he's a robot or? No. Well, who knows around here? I mean, look what you got in that plastic thing over there. <laughs> What's in the plastic thing? <laughs> it's not frozen meat, is it? Are you ready to go to lunch, Mom? <laughs> After this? <laughs> well, there's some frozen meats. Yeah, I think I'm oh. serious. Did y'all get that porn? You need to do some of that porn with damn fish over there. <laughs> Fish in murky water comes with food? And it was just dead. The bow legged guy. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I'm sorry to say this, chat. I was very heavily considering skipping this, but I, at this point, I feel like we have to survive this. That's it. Just survive. I just want to survive it. It's almost done, kinda, and I'm I'm going to survive it. I want to be able to say I've seen all of Price Master.
Someone said I'm getting a headache. Oh yeah, no. Th that's what Young this American is. Citizens learn about the economy. But you can make him an offer. Like, if you want to pay like $10, you can offer that to him. He'll accept it or I'll reject it. So you guys How's your tinnitus? I think better after this. Remember to rate it on Letterboxd. Half a star, I'd give it. Price master, have a heart. Chat, I would be completely content watching this if it wasn't the fucking music. It's, it's the, I know the music for some people makes it. It's just making it hard to get through it. It's amazing to see how many people are extremely defensive of the Price Master. Wow. Does a chainsaw work? No, it's for a doctor. How much is it going for? How much for the chainsaw? The music uh, rewrote their brain chemistry. Make him an offer. Man, I don't even know if it starts. You need to tell me more about it. <laughs> tell me more about it. Does it start? Does the laser gun start? The laser gun. What? Nine thousand oh, dollars. Ask him if he'll start it up for me. Does the chainsaw work? I'll kill myself with these things. What? Does it work or not? He didn't answer. I don't know. It's his. He's like kind of not phased by the weird dude on the stage. What is that? The laser gun. The laser gun. What laser gun? What is that? Nine thousand dollars. Nine thousand dollars. 
No, it's hard for me to say without starting it. It really is. But if it started, would you buy it for $9,000? No. <laughs> chat said, uh, some chat member said, how were people still coming to this? <laughs> you, you wouldn't? If you saw that, if you drove by and you saw that, And yet, still no one has shopped. Was this found in a dumpster? Pro probably. Made in a dumpster, it's, as well. I, I like his pose, I really do. I think it's a very, very good posture. Oh, this is different. Oh, we've got video effects now. It's over. Nothing happened. So I've seen a, a very big divide in chat over the quality of this. Some people fucking love this. I would need... I would probably need to get a little bit of wacky and watch that. I was not wacky. I was very sober watching that. Oh god, I have so much to say about it. Alright, uh, what can I say first? Uh, I get it. It is the longest one note bit of all time. If this came on Adult Swim at 3am, you'd love it. Maybe. Catering by Donut. I feel like there's, okay, so it's, like I said, the music was actually starting to grate at me. I would be down for more Price Master hijinks. Apparently the Price Master is dead. I don't know if someone in chat was saying that. But um, it was the music. It was just too much, too high-pitched constantly. Tinnitus did not like it. Um, I appreciate what they were trying to do. And it was fucking weird, and I'm happy that I watched all of it and didn't skip it. I feel like they could have taken it a little further. And I feel like if there was some, like if this was the YouTube generation, if there was a little bit more like editing, if, um, if they had more weird items, like the weird meat in the cooler and the fucking fish, and they just had like a bunch of bizarre items, I feel like that could have been something I would have liked more. That's my own personal opinion. If you love Price Master and you can watch that whole 30 minutes, good on you. I don't think I would want to do that again. <laughs> I'm content with one time. And yes, I do appreciate a good, insane bit once in a while. So, I mean, I got, I got something out of it, I think. It made me laugh a couple times. Let's see. If it was too obviously a bit, they couldn't have gotten people to engage. The whole point was to watch middle Americans be rightfully perplexed. Yeah, I mean, that's fair. Um, I think the, the the mix of cursed items and regular items definitely could have contributed to that. But there's something about that video. Maybe in like a week or two, I'll probably like maybe it'll show up in a dream or I'll be thinking about it. It's it's weird. It is unlike anything I've ever seen. I do think it goes on too long, and I think the music is a little too loud. But if you are of the mind that it is a perfect piece of Price Master art, fair enough. I'll have you buy it for... 15,000 dollars! Do you want the laser gun? 
All right, chat. Um, well, that was the weirdest wheel of the weird yet, and that was only the second episode of it. So, pretty fucking insane, that. And uh, rest in peace, Price Master. Of the things we saw today, the thing I liked the best was the Pee Wee Herman video. Two minutes. Perfect. Nathan Austin was his name. A.K.A. The Price Master. Nobody needs that much Dr. Pepper. Uh, no, I, I'll tell you what. I, I enjoyed the shitty puppets doing drugs. And I enjoyed, um... I really actually hated those little l testicle looking things. But I got a couple laughs out of it. Um, and Price Master is just, again, just a, an anomaly of a thing that exists. And I'm... I, I, it's either a five star or a half star video. I'm not sure what I feel about it yet. But I hope you enjoyed this. Um, God, I don't know when we'll do more, but remember, there's more clown content on the wheel. We still have the Yo Yo Man. We have a synth axe demo. We got some Charles Martinet stuff. And lots of Nanny Lin. Well, two Nanny Lin. So we'll get to this eventually. But, yeah. Whew. I wonder if there's... There is no Metal Gear Solid engage on the Twitch directory chat. Now, I have to wonder, do you want to just see what it looks like for a little bit? Or would you prefer if I streamed it during the week in more detail? I can give you 20 minutes of it. Would that be enough? Both? Ah, that would be silly. I think I'd rather do one or the other. I, I kind of feel like you don't need to see a full stream of it. I'll give you the 20 minutes tonight. I think 20 minutes would be a perfect look into what this game is, which is to say a strangely competent version of Metal Gear Solid. Well, I'll explain more in just a minute. All right, um, loading the game. Trying to load the game. 